Hey guys, so you already know I just came back from a trip to Orlando, Florida, hitting up five parks, and today I want to talk about the major, one of the major parks in Orlando, Florida, Universal Studios Islands of Adventure, and, you know, I see a lot of people on YouTube, you know, talk about their day in review, and I was going to do that for this video, but I wanted to make this video just nice and unique, so today I want to do a mini review of the coasters, and also rank the coasters, the major coasters. We all know what the major coasters are. Hagrid's, Incredible Hulk, and Velocicoaster. So, let's rank them up and let's do a mini review of all these coasters from 3 to 1. I'm not including Paragon Flyers or Fly the Hippogriff because they are not major coasters. And also, I can't speak from experience on Paragon Flyers because I'm somehow too tall to ride. Like, what? Anyways, let's get into the video. Even though it's at the bottom of this list, this is still an insanely good themed family coaster by Intamin. This ride opened in 2019. And, uh, sure, it's had some very major mechanical issues and, you know, just things like that and always breaking down and also having an, uh, a six-hour wait. It's still a really good ride. But, uh, yeah, let's just look at these elements. I mean, first of all, seven launches and they all are really good. Like, that is just crazy to me that this ride has seven launches and i think the only important part of this ride in my opinion is the theming because if this was just in a grass field it, it just wouldn't be as good and oh, come on we all know that but i mean just look at the theming right here it is just beautiful now would i take this over dueling dragons no do I want Dueling Dragons back? Yes. But that doesn't really matter because Hagrid's is still really good. I mean, also the track length is very long too. And not even to mention this part right here with the backwards section. I mean, this thing is really the full package. And for it's just so cool even with the trains, with the bike seat and the sidecar. Personally, I pick bike seat because it's just cool. And how many coasters really have a bike seat? I mean, it's just so good. And I don't know. It's just a really good family coaster. It's just unfortunate that it always has a really long wait. I, when I went to Universal, it had a 80-minute wait. Oh, yeah. Did I mention the drop track? Yeah, there's one in there. Anyways, it's just the full package. If you want a really good coaster that the whole family could ride, here it is, Haggard's. Now, this launch right here could be a little extreme, but it's just really fun. And I recommend it to everybody that goes to the Universal Studios Islands of Adventure Park. So, yeah, that's my mini review of Haggard's. Hey guys, do you want a controversial opinion? Alright, let's go. Yep, this is the controversial opinion. Hulk is... Oh, are you, are you, are you thought this was a controversial opinion? <laughs> no, let's go to the actual controversial opinion. Whoa! Velocicoaster at number two? Not the number one coaster at the park? First ever person to be stupid? Okay, I know that's what all you guys are saying right now. But honestly, I don't know if it was because it was like 45 degrees out. But I found there was a rattle this time. Like last time I rode, it was glass smooth. But this time, it just had a rattle. I, like, I don't know what happened. But it was still 
extremely good with its launches, the top hat, the inversions, the airtime. Oh man, it was just a full package. But I just didn't find that the shakiness, the shakiness was just a little extreme for me. Like, it was a bit too shaky for this ride. Like, I, I seriously don't know why. Like, it's crazy. But, yeah. I did put this at number two. Now, I have just discussed why I put it at number two. But, let's just talk about the good things. First of all, the trains. I love these new Intamin trains. The over-the-shoulder lap bar. They're really comfortable, and they just, I don't know, they're just really good. Um, That first launch is really good. That inversion was a bit, I don't know, just a bit overrated for me, honestly. The next one was pretty good, though. And then you just kind of go in the spaghetti bowl, which, to me, had no airtime this time. You know, now I'm starting to think I just wrote it when it was a terrible time. Anyways, so then you hit the second launch, and this launch is so good. Maybe. I don't know. I still like launches like Accelerator or Storm Runners or Incredible Hulk's launch better, but I mean, it's still really good. And then you go into the my favorite element of the ride, the top hat. This element is so high up, and it's, like, so weird being that tall, like, that high up at Universal. Like, it's so weird. Then you just plummet down. You know, you go through the uh, Zergy stall. I mean, just like everybody else, like, I didn't find anything special with this. Definitely, like, prefer the one on, like, I don't know, Wicked Cyclone, per se. Then, again, you go into the Spaghetti Bowl. Now, it doesn't matter, like, the time I wrote it before and the time I wrote it now. This thing, this part of the ride just has so much air time. It's not even funny. Then, you plummet into this little air time hill into the Mosasaurus Roll. It's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know. It got some good um good whip through. And then you hit the brake run. Honestly, for me, my uh, older rides, 11 out of 10. These rides, a 9 out of 10. But I know the potential of this ride. Just on this visit, it got a 9 out of 10. Yeah, it's just now a 9 out of 10. But let's get to the coaster that was randomly 30 times better this trip. We all know what it is. Roll the clip. If I had to describe this coaster, I would say intense. This ride is so intense, it's not even funny. This ride is just crazy with its positive G's and whippiness. This ride, to me personally, is near perfect. I mean, just let's look at the elements. The launch is just like the mummies, but it is so good for no reason. Then you go through the zero G roll. It is so whippy, and I love these old school B and M zero G rolls. Then you plummet down and hit your max speed of sixty seven miles per hour. Then you go into the cobra roll. Now this is the best cobra roll of all time. I don't care what anybody says. This thing is so intense, it's not even funny. Then, you go into the vertical loop. It's pretty good. It's very intense, and pulls the the positive Gs. Then after that, you go through a helix around the launch, do a whippy corkscrew, 
and then you plummet into the tight vertical loop. If you ever ridden Kraken at SeaWorld Orlando, it feels just like that. Then you go through these like little turns, they're really whippy. Then you get a little pop of air time into the final corkscrew, and then you go into a helix thing, and then you turn into the brakes. This ride, to me personally, is near perfect, with its positive G's, whippiness, and theming. I am so glad Universal retracked this coaster for the 2015 off season, cause this thing is glass smooth. I this is probably the smoothest coaster I've ever ridden. It is so smooth. Actually, I take that back. Silver Bowl is more smooth. But anyways, it's so good. It's just so smooth. So great. Now the big question is, do I prefer it over Dragon Challenge? No. Nah, just joking. This coaster is way better than both of the sides of Dragon Challenge. I know, crazy, right? But Hulk was just something special. And just what a crazy ride this was. And honestly, it's one of my favorite coasters. It's in my top 25, even my top 10 at this point. It is just so good. And honestly, that's all I have to say. It's so good and should be on everybody's bucket list if they have not ridden this ride. And that's my full thoughts on Hulk, the B&M sit-down coaster. The Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you didn't track my IP address, come to my house with a pitchfork, and um, give me revenge for putting Velocicoaster at number two. I know, like, crazy, right? But anyways, this video was just so fun to make, and yeah, that's really it for today. Comment down below or DM me on ins uh, in Instagram, um, premiere underscore thrills, um, like a video idea that I could do, because I, I just want to make more videos, because they're really fun to make. But uh, yeah, until next time, don't stay for yourself, but if you do, you'll get nowhere time. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.